Hello my planner friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I'm going to be doing my Plan With Me video for the week of June 19th through the 25th. I decided to use this Cartabella kit that is for, it's called Summer Loving. And I loved this sticker pack and all of the paper. I wanted to do just a really summery theme this week, so I decided that I wanted to use the little bathing suits and sunglasses and kind of just do a summary theme um, using those items. And then I pulled obviously some of the paper from the paper pack as well. And then um, in my June monthly, I used a the Happy or Sunshine Happiness from Simple Stories. And I really liked this this girl figure that was in the pack, so I thought I would use that one because it kind of goes along with the sunglass theme. So I decided to pull some of that those items off of that kit, and I'm going to use them inside this spread as well. And there's some of the different papers that I'm going to be using, and we'll go ahead. I also pulled just a couple of different washi tapes that went along with the collection, including a yellow polka dotted. Um, one because I think that's cute and then we will go ahead and see what happens. One of the things that I always strive to do in my planner is think of different and cute ways to incorporate the paper and other items so that it's not the same thing every week. Um, obviously there's only so many certain designs you can do but I really try to come up with different ideas to not only in inspire me but to inspire you as well to kind of just think outside of the box and do different things with your planner that maybe you wouldn't necessarily do. Um, so one of the things that I thought I would do was cutting these little strips of paper because instead of using one full box strip what I thought maybe I would do is do strips um, and then um, as I was doing that I didn't really feel like it was working very well because one of the other things that's kind of difficult with the planner is that I always like, uh, what's it called? Symmetry. Um, that was the word I was looking for. And um, a lot of times it's hard to do that symmetry because one side has three columns and the other side has four columns. So that's often why I keep the weekend as like one column. It kind of looks like one column because it feels it feels a little bit more symmetrical to me. But um, as I was doing it, I just wasn't really finding the configuration that I was looking for. So I went ahead and I'm going to still use the strips, but just in a different, different, a little bit of a different way. I definitely wanted to put this little girl on the weekend and she was just a little bit too uh, wide. So I just cut, trimmed her down a little bit and then I um, rounded the corners. And I thought the bathing suit paper underneath that looks really cute because it, the, the back, the backing paper, the backing color of the paper <laughs> matched really well. And then I wanted to go ahead and pull some of these sunglass paper into it because I think this paper is so darling. And I wanted to make sure that when I was cutting it, I cut it so that um, for some reason on the edge of the paper, it has like almost like a distressed um, edge. Um, not really sure if I'm explaining that right but it's got a little bit of distress edge and I didn't want that edging on there so when I cut it I did cut that piece off. All right now you can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing here with the strips. I decided just to cut it just a little bit more and then I'm, I'm going to go ahead and use the pink side of the strips because I thought the other side with the stripes was just a little bit too much color going on and I just needed that pop of kind of a solid color to go in it. There you can kind of see what I'm talking about. I'm going too fast in the video, but it has kind of like a a distressed edge. So I just cut that off. And then when I was cutting it, I wanted to make sure that I got at least one full pair of glasses in the um, the box. So when I was cutting it, I made sure to cut it so you can see at the top there it has a thing of um, one full thing of sunglasses. All right, so now I'm just kind of working out what I want to do with the strips because I know I still wanted to pull that strip into this side because, again, symmetrical. I wanted to keep it symmetrical. I was going to use it on the one side. I wanted to make sure I had at least one strip on the other side. 
And then I wanted to make sure I also had another pair of these sunglass papers because I just think it's really cute. So I wanted to make sure I incorporated at least one more pair in there. And so I cut another strip. And I've done this before in the past where I've used just two of the boxes. Um, and so I decided to do that again this time. And here I'm just trying to figure it out. I felt like it needed just to be a little bit shorter still. And there, now you can kind of get an idea of what I'm actually going to be doing with the strips. So I just decided that I was going to put that little pink strip on top of the paper to give it just a cute little design of paper. All right, so that's basically the way the layout's going to be. I do put another piece of the solid pink on that side. And this solid pink is the striped paper on the opposite side. So this paper is double-sided. And it is a pretty thick cardstock. So I do get questions a lot about that, like how does the cardstock work in your planner? And you know, honestly, I don't really it's it's fine. It you know, I've gotten the interesting thing is I have paper on both sides. So and it works out just fine. Alright, so I wanted to go ahead and ink the side up to kind of give it a little bit contrast because again that back the color on the backing and the color on the, the swimsuit paper was almost the same color so I just wanted to give it a little bit of a dimension to it so I decided to also do that in the little cutout that I had there on the side as well and then I'm just trying to figure out what I wanted to do with this um, with the bottom part I was almost thinking about keeping it, but there was just not enough orange in the paper for me to keep it. So I decided to, I'm just going to go ahead and just cover it with washi tape. And um, I decided that I wanted to have it be, because this little polka dotted paper is see-through, so the polka dots are kind of see-through. So I decided to back it with the blue so that when I put the yellow polka dotted washi tape down that it would be um, pink like a blue color on the back and I'm not sure if you can tell but there is a, a swimsuit in the paper that actually matches this kind of design and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to show you um, yeah I think I actually covered it up with the lady but that's where my inspiration came from. It's in the middle of the the circle of uh, bathing suit sitting right there on the page that I'm working on right now. It has like a yellow polka dotted and then kind of a darker um, green uh, trimming around it. So that's kind of where the inspiration for the, the washi tape came from. I was debating on whether or not to leave the numbers the same at the top and not cover them, but they ultimately just weren't working with the color scheme, so I decided to go ahead and cover them with a little strip of just label paper. And then I wanted then I put just another strip of that washi tape at the top as well, just to give it that symmetry. And then instead of actually in, um, putting this directly, that little lady, directly onto the page. I decided I wanted to make it a pocket because I am covering up most of my weekend and I wanted to be able to include some things on there like a to-do list or anything like that if I wanted to. So I decided to go ahead and make that a pocket. I didn't actually put the little insert into the planner in this video, but I will do that later on. All right, so once I get that glued on, it's going to be sticker time.
Okay, now that I've got all the stickers on there, I wanted to go ahead and include some of my planning items. I have a lunch that I need, I'm going to go to on Monday, and I did take a vacation day, so that's nice. I've got a call that I need to make on Monday as well, and I've got a game night on Tuesday, and a planner night on Friday. Um, on Saturday is my great aunt June's 87th birthday, so I'm pretty sure we're going to go up, up to Oxnard to um, celebrate that with her. And then on Saturday, I also have another game night as well. Plus, I also have a foster ministry meeting that I need to attend on Saturday morning. So then right after that, I'm going to head to my game day. And that's pretty much all of the things that I included on my planner so far. And I'm sure I will be adding things as the week goes on. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to just do another quick journal card to journal my week in this week. It came, this paper pack came with the cutest cut aparts. And I wanted to incorporate that one there with this planner spread. So um, that's kind of where I also got some inspiration to add in some of that green because I knew I wanted to use this journal card. So I wanted to have some of that green um, with the washi tape. That's why I kind of used that, up that washi tape. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just glue these two cards together. The other card had a little place to journal on with the sunglasses, so I thought that was cute, so I just decided to use that one as well. And I'm just lining it up here and using the little tabs from the Mandy um, company. And that's it, guys. That's all I've got for you today. Didn't do a paper clip this week, but um, couldn't really find anything to do it with, but hopefully maybe I'll think of something and make it later. But this is it. That is my planner this week and I hope that you enjoyed. Sorry I didn't load one last week. I just was busy with my son graduating high school and having his 18th birthday. So I am going to go ahead and close out the video. I'll see you next week. Bye.